Hey guys, Mark the Mentor here. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys three ways where you can make a ton of money with a 16 foot box truck. I've been in the box truck industry for about 13 years now, and I made a lot of money with my fleet of box trucks. The number one way you can make a lot of money with a 16 foot box truck is in moving. There's a lot of money to be made in moving. Once you secure your truck, you need to find a helper, at least one helper, maybe two. Once you find your workers, you need to go out to Home Depot, Lowe's, or to a furniture and moving uh, warehouse and purchase dollies. There's two types of dollies I recommend that you purchase. Appliance dollies or two wheel dollies and furniture dollies, which are the four wheel dollies. For a 16 foot box truck, I recommend at least five four wheel furniture dollies and at least one two wheel hand truck dolly or appliance dolly. You're also going to need moving pads or moving blankets. For a 16 foot box truck, I'd recommend at least two dozen moving blankets or moving pads to start with. Also, you'll need shrink wrap and tape. Shrink wrap is to secure and help hold the moving pads or blankets when you're wrapping furniture like sofas, china cabinets, armoires, dressers, chest of drawers, etc. Tape comes in handy for taping boxes and also holding moving pads or moving blankets to furniture like sofas, chairs, love seats, etc. How do you find moving jobs in your local area? There's a few ways you can find moving jobs in your local area. The number one way I suggest would be online applications such as Thumbtack, Hire Helper, TaskRabbit, and in some cases still Craigslist. Craigslist can be kind of shady, but 13 years ago when I got my start into the box truck industry and moving, Craigslist was booming. I don't use Craigslist anymore. I usually pay for leads. I use Thumbtack. Thumbtack is a good source and you get great leads with Thumbtack. It can be kind of pricey, but the people are real and they're actually looking for movers. Another way is Home Advisor. Home Advisor is another paid lead service. I don't use Home Advisor uh, for my trucks. Um, I've tested it out in the past, but it's a little bit more on the pricier side than Thumbtack. Another good marketing tool to promote your moving business would be Facebook, Instagram, and other online social media sites. Create a Facebook page and an Instagram page and start sharing it with your friends and have your friends share the page as well. Word of mouth is a great tool and a great resource to drum up business for moving. A lot of moving customers are repeat customers. I have customers that have been calling my company for the past 13 years. I have cu customers that move every year. I have customers that move multiple times a year. So when you're going out and you're doing these moving jobs, make sure you do a great job. Don't damage anything. Be quick, be fast, but also be efficient. The second way to get money with a 16 foot box truck would be in the delivery business. There are plenty of deliveries to be made in today's times. One, you can apply with a logistics company. There are plenty of logistics companies that you can go to with your truck uh, you may, they may require you to have your own authority. Some you can run under their authority and those logistics companies have accounts with companies to deliver freight. That's one way of doing it. Two, you can hustle. You can hustle your 16 foot box truck. You can go to local mom and pop furniture stores, ask do they need deliveries done. They may have a truck that may be down. They may take your card or your number and keep you for future references when one of their trucks are down, so on and so forth. You can post ads on Craigslist. You can also go on Thumbtack. They have a furniture delivery uh, option on Thumbtack as well. TaskRabbit is another good source uh, for um, furniture delivery and small moving jobs where you don't even actually need a helper on TaskRabbit. You have customers who have studios or small one bedrooms who don't wanna pay an arm and a leg for moving and they're willing to help. They just don't have the truck. 
but they have the manpower and they're willing to put their arms and their legs to work with you and they'll work with you and you can bring your truck and you can get money uh, that way as well. My last and final way to make money with a 16 foot box truck would be in the junk removal business. The junk removal business is booming pretty much all over the country. Buildings are being rehabbed, there's construction jobs going on, there's roofing going on, and there's a lot of people, a lot of contractors that need junk hauled away. Um, the easiest way I say to uh, start drumming up business for your junk removal business is one, online, like those apps I talked about earlier, Thumbtack and Home Advisor. Two would be start talking to some general contractors. You can meet general contractors in Home Depot or Lowe's. Every day there's general contractors coming through both of those places and they're doing rehab work. Some of them may have their own dump trailers. Some of them may not. Some of them rent dumpsters and get permits and you can hand them your business card and say, hey, I got a truck, I do junk removal, uh, when you're doing another rehab project or you're doing a gut out or a clean out, give me a call and give you a good rate. You just basically go in there and do the demo work and haul the stuff to the dump. Um, some of the equipment that you're going to need uh, for the junk removal business other than your 16 foot box truck is 32 uh, gallon trash containers. Those containers come in handy when you're um, doing your demo or your clean out. You can toss the a lot of trash and debris into those 32 gallon tubs or uh, garbage cans and drag them to the dump and just toss it over and then take it back in and fill them up again and just repeat the process. Uh, you're also gonna need shovels, obviously, push brooms, sledgehammers. Sledgehammers come in handy because uh, you wanna save as much space as possible. So if you're doing, let's say a full house uh, clean out and you're in a 16 foot box truck, you take that sledgehammer to like the dressers, the chest, you'll beat those things and break those things all the way down. Instead of putting them in the truck hole, taking up more space, just flatten them. Flatten them. You want to you want to you want to save and create as much space as possible uh obviously uh for on that truck as you can. You don't want to make multiple trips if you don't have to. Um what else here? Uh you're gonna need contractor bags, a lot of contractor bags. Make sure you stay stocked up on contractor bags. If junk removal is gonna be your thing, every time you go uh, to pick up contractor bags, just don't get one box, get two or three of them. You're gonna run through those contractor bags like crazy. Uh, a crowbar. Um, most importantly, you're gonna need protective eyewear and protective gloves. Once again, you're doing clean outs. You're doing junk removal. There's gonna be things you don't wanna to touch with your physical hands. There's also gonna be debris laying around, especially if you're like on a construction site, doing demo work, nails and things. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a nice pair of steel toe boots with a thick sole so no nails doesn't come up through your, through your sole. Uh, protective eyewear. Uh, some of these clean outs, there may be asbestos, there's uh, debris flying around, dust particles it gets pretty messy, it gets pretty nasty on some of those demo sites. You're dealing with um, drywall debris, it's just particles flying all, all over the place. So make sure you got your protective eyewear, your protective gloves, and uh, uh, your protective footwear uh, as well. And that pretty much wraps up the three th ways I know to make money with a 16 foot box truck. This is my first video on YouTube, so uh, it, it's probably not the best, but um, a little bit about me. I've been in the box truck game for about 13 years now. I started in 2009, 2010. I started very small. I actually didn't even start with a box truck. I started with a pickup truck. And then from there, the business grew very quickly and I started renting a truck from Penske and it kept growing and then I rented another truck and hired a crew to run that second truck and it kept growing and I rented a third truck and hired a crew to run that truck and then I started getting calls from logistics companies and from there I was running about 15 trucks started buying trucks at that point um because I was running um contract jobs and I was running moving jobs and I was running about 15 trucks in 2014. 
I bought seven trucks that year alone. So I'm well versed in the box truck industry. And um, with this channel, I'm going to give a lot of uh, good tools for people who are looking to get into the box truck industry, whether you're looking to do contract work. I'm not just going to limit it to 16 footers. I'm going to do a video on 26 footers. I'm going to do videos on rigs. I'm going to do videos on other things that I know you guys can make money uh, with as well that I'm into. So uh, once again, my name is Mark the Mentor. This is my first video. So this is like kind of an introduction video. Don't beat me up too bad. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'm out.